I think I say this chapter of Tehillim at least three times a day. So it's, um, you know, important to understand what we're saying and try to make it meaningful for us. And also to remember that um, there's we're, we're supposed to be really talking to God and, 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 um, and um, davening to him and asking for him for 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 to help us out. Um, when when we say these to him, it shouldn't just be be words and going through motions. It's just supposed to be, you know, really get to our um, get to our get to our uh, emotions for us, um, and so that we can really communicate with God and feel like we're really crying out to 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 Hashem from from the bottom of our hearts. So, but in order to do that, step one is you have to understand the words. That's that's a hundred percent. Um, and also it's important to remember, I, we mentioned this before, but I think it's always important to stress this out is that this is really, this is, you know, some of us have bigger roles and some of us have smaller roles or, or just different roles in, in this fight, this fight, um, this fight that, that, that we have, you know, all of Am Yisrael is, is together in this fight. Um, and so, you know, I, 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 some people ask me, okay, what, what are, what are you doing right now to, you know, to make you, to make you know, to, to contribute, you know, um, which is, I think a question that it's fair for all of us to be asked. And I really believe that, that it's, that it's my role and all our roles to, um, to contribute with Tfila, to contribute with learning, um, and to make it really, to be very serious about it and for it to be meaningful. These things are, are real. Um, and, you know, and that means, you know, um, you know, like us, you know, I'm sometimes like I, I, I'm checking the news, um, and then I have to stop and remind myself, you know, um, um, I'm not the I'm not the guy who's gonna make the decisions about what happens next. My job is to, uh, my job is to contribute by by downing to Hashem, by learning, by 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 uh, doing all those things, and also especially because um, many of us are are downing for even specific people, learning for even specific people. Um, so it's especially especially meaningful. But let's 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 um get get right to it. Let's go to the actual words of chapter 21. Um, so it starts off sheer lamalos, not sheer hamalos. I didn't see anything why it says lamalos instead of hamalos, but just important to to recognize when you are saying it that you should say the correct word. Um, but sheer lamalos means a a song to the sense. We'll go through the word slowly. Esa means I raise. A nai, like a naim is my eyes. El is to Heharim, the mountains. And then Me'ayin Yavo Ezri. That's a question. From from where um Yavo is come, Ezri is 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 my help. So where will where will my help come from? So so just as uh the as as some structure to, to this chapter of Tehillim, the way they explain it in, in this in this beautiful safer is that they say that this whole Mizmor, this whole chapter. Is is really a conversation that's happening between two people. That that there's actually there's two voices going on here. There's one where there's one guy who's going out to to the road. He's got a he's got a tough road ahead of him, um, and he's and he's traveling somewhere. And then there's another person who's with him, who's kind of escorting him out to the road. Um, and then he he stops to uh he stops to bless him on the way out. That's that's the structure of this of this chapter of Tehillim. It's two people. One one guy is going out to the road. He's he's very nervous about it. Um, and there's one person who's coming. He's escorting him. Maybe his father. Maybe his brother. A good friend. Um, <clears throat> mother. Um, and and that person is escorting escorting the traveler. Um, and and going to give them going to give him some chizuk. Going to give him some words of strength. But but the first line is said by the guy who's walking, right? Who's who's traveling. He says. He's saying Shirla Malos that um this so he says Esai Nayel Harim. He's saying I'm raising my eyes to the mountains, meaning I'm looking around and I'm seeing what's what's the road ahead. And all I see are these massive mountains. I see these massive challenges that that are that are incumbent upon me um in the future. And and I wonder to myself, he asks to himself. Or maybe even to the person who he's with, may I have always read from where is my help gonna come from? All I see are these ginormous mountains. All I see is all these challenges. I don't see anyone who's gonna help me on this on this path. I'm all by myself. What am I going to do? Okay, so that's that's that that's the first line. That's it's it's a it's it's a question. Um okay, so so the next line reads, 
Ezri, right? It's the same word as as we finished in the first line. Ezri is, is help. So Ezri, so we, now he's answering his own question. Ezri me'im Hashem. My help is coming from Hashem, from God. Ose shemaim va'aretz. Ose is make shemaim and arts, the, the, the heavens and the earth. So the guy who's traveling on the path, right? He's He asked himself, he sees this path that's ahead of him. He's getting very nervous. May I nevo Ezri, from where is my help going to come from? All I see are these massive mountains. So, but then he remembers who does who does our help come from? Whenever, whenever we're in need, whenever, whenever we have challenges, whenever we have, whenever we feel like we're all by ourselves, Ezri Meim Hashem, our help comes from from a Kaddish Baruch Hu, from God, who's Osesh and Mayimvarets. He creates heavens and earth, so of course he can help me out. He can do. He's he's he he can do anything, right? So of course he's gonna help us out right now. So that's what he says to himself. Good so far. Okay. So then, so then they say the way they describe it here is that so the guy who escorted him. Let's call let's call one guy traveler and call one guy father. Okay, one guy traveler, one guy father. So the father says to the traveler, he's he's going. He gives him. Sort of, they, they call it a birchas preda. This this bracha as as of separating. Like as he's going out to travel, he's gonna bless him. You know, like I'm gonna bless you as you go on your travels. As as you have all these challenges that are gonna come, I want to I want to give you a bracha. So he says that they say um he sings that. Okay, let's read the words first. He says al yitain la Actually, first, sorry, let's let's read the introduction before they say that um that. Who can mosif al hadvarim shamar hayotze la derech ba pasuk shamalamikin? He's he's adding on to the words right that the traveler said to himself. The traveler said, "Where's my help going to come from? Oh, it's going to come from God." So his father is saying to him, he's saying, he he wants to add to him, and he's saying, "The omerlo yafe amarta, your you what you said is correct. You said good. The harini mevarchecha, and I'm going to bless you ki Hashem, God asher atam mikavel ezraso." Who you hope is going to help you out? Lo yaniach lecha likashal bedera badera. He's not going to let you be be struck and down, let you fail, to be alone, right on 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 this path. He's going to be with you, right? And that's why he says all the next word. Now we're back in the in the chapter of Tehillim. Al yitain lamot raglecha. That means he will not allow you lamot. They they say it comes from the word this momemut. Which means al yaniach leraglecha lehis momet limod velipol. It means I think it means to like really fall. They the article here translated as faltering. Um, it's, so I mean basically be struck down. But al yitin lemot raglecha. He's not gonna let you. He's not gonna. God is not gonna let you be struck down. He's not gonna let you fail. Al yanum shomrecha. And more than that, he's he's blessing him. He's saying they say yehira tzon shomrecha Hashem that. It is my blessing to you that your your shomer, the person who takes care of you, who is God, lo yanu, meaning he's not going to sleep. Kolomer shetehe a nope kucha elacha tamid lo yasir hashka chasomimcha afil v'mida muetes. That God is not going to not going to even slumber, even for a single second. He's going to be watching you twenty four seven, making sure nothing happens to you. That's my bracha to you. Okay, that's what his father says to him. So again. So the guy is going out. He sees these big mountains. He says, "Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? I'm all by myself." He says, "Oh wait, Hashem's with me. I'm going to be okay." And his father says to him, "What you said is good. 100 percent right. My bracha to you is that Hashem is not going to let you, not your, not going to let your legs stumble. He's not going to let anything happen to you. And he's also not even going to sleep. He's not going to slumber for a second. He's going to be on you, on you like a like a, like glue 100 percent of the time." He's not gonna even he's not gonna even slumber for a second. So the guy responds back. <clears throat> it's a, it's like kind of response, but he's like they're almost like giving each other chizuk, right? As as he as he prepares for this for this for this road. He says, Hine lo yanum velo yishan shomer Yisrael. Hine, it is so lo yanum, he doesn't sleep, velo, he doesn't slumber, velo yishan, he doesn't sleep. Shomer Yisrael, the guardian of Israel. So they describe here, he nay, right? When he says he nay, right, it is so lechizuk ve'imut. He's trying to give himself some some strength and to testify to its truth. 
It's true what you said. Um, he says, I'm sure to what, what the, the bracha that you said, right, that you said, oh, I'm blessing you that Hashem should, should take care of you, that you should even slumber for a second. He says, I'm sure of what you said. What you said is true. Um, that it's going to come true, Shere Shomri, right? Because who's the one who takes care of me? Is who Shomer Yisrael? He's the same person who takes care of Yisrael. Shein lefanav los munav lo sheina. That he doesn't even have, that he doesn't have even a slumber, even a sleep. And and uh, and and so and the person who's vehamivari chomer shomrecha. Okay, so this fine. So 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 that's that's what he says back. So good. So so far. Right, he said, he said, uh, I'm so I'm nervous. Mountains, the the Hashem's gonna. Then he realizes Hashem's gonna take care of him. Then the person gives him a bracha, and he says, "What you're saying is true, and I know it's true because who takes care of me? It's Shomer Yisrael. It's the same person who takes care of, of Yisrael, and I know the person who takes care of Yisrael. He's he doesn't even sleep for a second. He doesn't take a moment off. He takes care of them." So then, from so now, from the rest of we're we're on we're on hey hey teches is the rest of this paragraph of Tehillim is all the person is all the father or the 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 person who's giving the bracha the, the person who's escorting the traveler. So he's just going to leave him with some extra bracha, but but the traveler has stopped talking at this point, right? He 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 was nervous, but now he feels he feels good, right? Because he knows Hashem is going to protect him. And now the person just wants to leave him with some extra bracha. So he says, um, Hashem Shomrecha, this is Lashon Bracha, meaning Yehi Hashem Shomrecha, that Hashem should be the person who takes care of you. Shomer is to is to is to guard, is to watch. Hashem should be your guardian. He should he should watch you. Hashem Tzilcha. Next word is that God should God God is a. Um, Silcha means your shade. Al yad yaminecha at at your right hand. So meaning, so they describe here. Hashem should be your shade. Meaning yastircha mipnei oivim ufegaim raim that he should take care of you. Basically, he should hide you away from your enemies or or these bad things that would happen to you. He should be your silcha, your your protective shade. And then al yad Um. So what does it mean that we're saying that that through his right hand, Hashem should should Hashem should be your protective shade with his right hand. Um, so they describe here that Yehi, it's a bracha again. Yehi Hashem ayad yaminecha, Yehi bracha, Yehi Hashem kibiyachol holech venitzav ayad yaminecha kemish holech lemin chaviru lesayero v'milchama uleshamro uliyoslo lemishenes pali chaso. So they so so that means that Hashem should be basically on your right side, like like basically like a like a, uh, what sec- like your personal security guard basically he should be your personal security guard. He should be on your right side, someone who's walking on your right side to help him out in war, to protect him, to make sure that nothing happens when he's walking. Basically, Hashem should be Hashem should be your, your like it's like your right hand man. That's what we mean. Al yad on your right side. Hashem should be your 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 personal security guard as you walk. Okay, that's that's hey. Vav is. Yomam Hashemesh lo yakeka v'yareach balayla. So Yomam is day. Hashemesh, that's sun, lo yakeka will not harm you v'yareach nor the moon by night. So this, I think, is the hardest pasuk to to understand um, in this chapter. But this is what they say that it's again. These are all. This is all brachas that the person who's escorting the traveler, right, the father. Is blessing to is blessing to uh is giving a bracha to his son before he before he leaves before he leaves for uh the road. So he's saying lashon bracha yehi ratzon shebayom that in the day lo yake uscha Hashem and bechumo that the sun's heat shouldn't cause any harm to you ki Hashem yetilcha like we described before Hashem is going to be your protective shade. Um, that's what it means v'yareach. Um, so, and then the moon also shouldn't cause any harm to you at night. So I don't really have a good understanding about why we would think that the, the sun or the moon would harm the person. If anyone has any thoughts, feel free to speak up. Why, why we think we would need even protection from the sun and the moon. Um, 
like normally I think we view those things as good things, right? Um, but that's um, yeah, please, Deborah. Well, we have to step over to the Kabbalah for a minute because the sun and the moon are Chesed and Gibra, and they both have each one has Chesed and each one has Gibra. So when the sun has strength, we need a, we need some protection from it. We need to respect the sun, let's put it that way. Because it has power. And we don't really understand it. We don't we know we know it's there, but um and the moon the moon also can um can rule us. We know that emergency rooms on the nights of full moons, emergency rooms try to double up their staff. Okay. Interesting, interesting approach. I, I like well, it. it, it I like it, it. it. Yeah. They have, a cool, they have an effect on us. Right. So, okay. So we're asking protection basically from even, I guess, um, I'm going to let Hillel, Hillel comment in, in one second, but, but maybe, maybe, um, I think what, what, uh, I think what you, what, uh, I don't know if it's exactly what you're saying, but definitely what I'm taking from what you're saying is that there, there are some things in this world, which we don't even understand how they work and why they would harm us but we still need protection from them as well. You know, it's easy to understand how our enemies could harm us, but there's some things which we can't even comprehend. Um, well, then I heard the Israeli IDF people saying, we can live next to our enemy. They don't have to become our our our, our, our brothers and sisters. We can live next to our enemy, but not if they're they're trying to kill us. Right, right. So, and, and so the sun is a, is a really good... Um, I hate. I don't like the word metaphor anymore, <laughs> but it's a um a good example. I Tanya uses the sun on the sun's rays all the time because it has power and strength. And again, when someone has when some when we need power and strength, we need give it all. We have to have it, but we need to respect it and use it properly and accept it properly too. Like you're a new parent, you're gonna see there are times when. <laughs> You need to be strong and resolute and not be the friend. Um, and other times when you have to be totally chesed all the way. Right. Yeah. Fair so night. that's one of the best things you learn as a parent is how it is about that. That's one of the right one of the greatest things. So if the if Hashem is our parent and the world is our parent and the sun is part of our parent, um, it does good things but it also can be right that example of you know don't yeah. get sunburned <laughs> very nice hello did you want to say something um yeah first of all deborah that was stark so thank you for sharing i was going to say um just like logistically the sun if you have too much sun you can get sick from it like a sunburn sun tan sun poisoning um and then from the moon, the moon controls the tide. So if there's if there's high tides and, you know, there can be drowning or devastation in regard to the water. And then also, um, if we're looking at like, um, you know, Hashem's universe, where the exact second, I'm sure you've heard Rabbeim say this, Rowie, that the where the where the exact amount of distance that we're supposed to be away from the celestial bodies, because we were a millimeter closer, a millimeter, millimeter further, we would either freeze or the world would combust. So those are also ways. Right. Okay. Very nice, very nice as well. Okay, thanks everyone for uh, for sharing on that. Um, okay, so let's we have two psukim left, so let's finish, let's finish up the up the chapter, and then we could, if anyone has any final takeaways, we can share. So, pasuk zayin, just where we left off, right? I guess let's just bring it bring it back. Right, the 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 person is now almost on his way to travel, and the person is, and the mevarich, the the father or the escorter, he's giving him the final brachas. So right, so we said first. Hashem should be Shomrecha, he should guard you, he should be your protective shade, uh, Yad Yeminech on your right side, he should be your right hand man, he should be your security guard. And then we said that the sun should not harm you in the day and the moon should not harm you in the night. And then he's saying, continues in Pasuk Zayn, Zev 7, Hashem Yishmorcha Mikorra, Yishmor Es Nafshecha. So this is, uh, this is a uh, another bracha. Um, and he's saying that Hashem, Shom Yishmarcha, he should protect you. So they describe here that that uh this is even this is to the future, right? Yishmarcha is 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 uh say Lashon Asid, um to meaning meaning in the future. 
and then and then um mikora from any evil right we so we talked about the 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 protective shade on your right side the sun the moon so now we're just saying any sort of evil hashem yishmorcha mikora hashem should protect you from all evil yishmores nafshecha and he should he should um protect you will he should guard your soul hashem should guard your soul yishmores again guard nafshecha his soul so that's Pasuk Zayin. And then finally, Hashem Yishmor Tzitzcha Vuecha Me'ata V'yad Olam. Hashem should guard Tzitzcha, your departure, Uvoacha, and your arrival, Me'ata V'yad Olam, from this, from this time until the end of the world. So um, they describe here, Bracha B'mash Me'us Kula Yishmorcha Hashem B'dar Kecha Sh'ata Holich Alea Misha Tzitzcha L'derech that basically Hashem should, should guard you from, from the moment that you leave for the road until until um you arrive at your destination. That Hashem should guard you in in everything that you do. The whole Pinosha Tapone and every every corner you turn. Okay, they quote a Pasak. Um means from the time that I bless you in in the entire in your entire life, um, right? Not just not just not just on this path, not just not just on your travel right now, but all your travels in life. And also, um, personally, I think about when I say um, I think it's even meaning the the most general. Um, let me think. Sorry, not the most. Um, not general, the most, I don't, I don't know what the right word is, but the, our, our, our departure and arrival, even, even in this world, you know, Hashem should protect us from the moment we get into this, we, we enter this world as a young baby until the, the moment when, when a Kaddish Baruch Hu decides it's no, um, we need to depart from this world, that we should protect us all, all of those times, um, and, and forever. So the summary of this chapter is again two people or do you, do you remember two people one guy he's going out and he sees he sees this is and this is very real for us there's there's a reason why 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 um the the rabbis decided that that this is the chapter that we should be saying um during during times of trouble because we're the guy's going out to travel right and he's saying all i see are these mountains all i see are these Mountains which I can't possibly climb over. These challenges, these, these the world is scary, right? It's, it's very real for us. The world is very scary, and and I don't see anyone to help me. You know, we if you read the news, you know, it's like who's who's on our side? You know, who's who's going to help us out? There's no one here. There's no one here to help us. But what does he say? Ezri me, Hashem. I I remember now. Who does my help come from always? My help comes from God. My help comes from Hashem. Who's Osa Hashem my hearts. If Hashem can make the heavens and earth, Hashem, if Hashem controlled everything, then of course, he's got this covered. He can, he can, he can do whatever he needs. And so what happens? Who's who's this person who's who's blessing us? So I don't know. I think I like to think about it as um, like if it's a mushal, right? And there's, and it's a, if it's a metaphor and we're the one who's going on this road and it's some person who's escorting us and they say it could be like a father or someone. Then I think it's almost like, it's almost sort of like God is, God is even putting his hand like on, on our back, you know, around us and saying, yeah, you know, don't, don't worry. It's not, it's not, it's not exactly how they described it, but it's almost like God is saying like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, or, or this person is blessing us that God, that God will not, will not let us, will not let us falter. He's not going to let us, he's not going to let us get hurt. Because God doesn't, God doesn't take a break. He doesn't slumber even for a second. And at that point, you know, we're comforted, right? We realize, yeah, that's, that's a hundred percent correct. He nay, it's true. He doesn't, he doesn't slumber, he doesn't sleep because he's Shomer Israel. He's the person who, who guards Israel. And then the the final four psukim are just these extra extra reminders, right? Hashem extra blessings. Hashem should guard us. Hashem should be 
our shade. He's going to be in our security guard. He's making us feel safe. Yo mam Hashem Eshel Yakek Avi Arech Balayla. He should be. He should be protect us from the sun. He should protect us from the the moon. From the moon in the night. Hashem Yishmor Chamikora. Any evil, anything bad that we could even possibly imagine, Hashem will protect us. Hashem should protect us from the moment we leave, the moment we the moment we enter, until the moment until the moment we arrive. Um, from this day until the last day. That's that's really that's really the summary of of this at least one understanding of this uh, chapter of Tehillim. Does anyone have any extra comments? Um, and maybe uh, if if after any comments or if no one has any comments, then we'll just say this. We'll say this all together to uh, give each other some some chizuk. It'll be the first time we say it with this with this new understanding. Any comments? Any any takeaways? Okay, so let's let's uh, I'll say it. You could uh, unmute. Um, we'll go line by line. Um, yeah. So it's one twenty one. Shir Lamalos, Asayna Yelhe Arim, Me Ayne Vozri. Shir Lamalos, Asayna Yelhe. Shir Lamalos, Asayna Yelhe. Me Ayne Vozri. Vozri Me Ima Dunai Oseshem Ayn Varetz. Vozri Me Ima Dunai Oseshem Ayn Varetz. Al Yitain Lamot Raglecha Al Yanum Shomrecha. Lo <laughs> Adonai Yishmor Chamikora Yishmor Es Nafshecha Adonai Yishmor Chamikora Yishmor Nafshecha Adonai Yishmor Tzicha Uvoecha Me'atavi Adolam Adonai Yishmor Tzicha Uvoecha Me'atavi Adolam Okay, Shkoyach everyone. Um, <clears throat> give each other strength during these times.